As new gardeners, we often want one of everything until that one group of plants really attracts our imagination. And here we're Deb Guardia, and her passion is hostas. And so what drew you to hostas? Well, I must say, actually, um, friends drew me to hostas <laughs> because they saw that I had a lot of shade and first made the suggestion. Um, but then I soon discovered that hostas are such a great plant for the shade. They're so many shapes and sizes, colors and textures that you can do a great deal of your landscape with just one different plant and still accomplish design and form. Okay, Deb, I really hate to put you on the spot, but what are your five top favorite hostas you could not live without? Well, it was really agonizing to choose five out of a garden that has over 200 varieties, but I gave it some serious thought. And if I could only take five, I chose Hasta Seboldiana elegans. And I chose Hasta stir fry, this beautiful wavy edged, curly tipped leaf, a green Hasta. And one of the seedlings of Halcyon, which is one of my favorite Hastas, is Hasta El Nino, with this beautiful blue, white edged Hasta. Another sport of Halcyon is Hasta June, which actually is ranked number one under favorites, and it is certainly one of my That's favorites. And then finally, I chose Hasta Striptease. And this was very hard to do, but I think for leaf color, shape, and form, if I only had five Hastas, I would be very happy to work in a garden with these. I think the nice thing is you, you, you picked really big ones, obviously. This is a very large. Small. And then people often would think that a green leaf on a hosta is going to uh, be kind of boring, but this is far from boring. So this is stir fry? This is hosta stir fry, far yes. Far from boring. And even the underside of this leaf is incredibly interesting. Um, and, and that strip cheese, I think, shows some interesting variegation that we don't typically see in variegated plants. Is this a wonderful streak? kind of along the inner margin. It is, and and this this form of this hosta, plus this gold centering, um, this is a hosta that the 20 foot rule applies. You can see this hosta from far away, and you know what it is. So it does have a very nice presence in the garden, as does El Nino. From far away, this hosta is going to get your attention, and. I love white edged and cre cream edged hostas, so I had to pick this one. This is my current favorite. Yeah, and tomorrow, probably a whole new five, I suspect. But well, <laughs> thank you so much, Deb, for sharing oh, your passion for hostas. They're a great plant to grow.